Parameter passing. Structures and internal tables. You must type formal parameters for structures and internal tables so that you can access the corresponding components. The components of structure parameters are known in the subroutine as a result of the assigned type so that you can address these components with the usual syntax. Larger internal tables should be transferred by call by reference in order to avoid time consuming copies. So in this graphic at the left we have passing a structure as a parameter. So basically you write your perform, the, in this case field underscore wa or working area, changing the working area structure variable. This is a pass by reference. So when you define your form or your subroutine, you define the changing and you specify the formal parameter and you must specify a type and it has to be a structure type the same type as your actual parameter working area underscore flight info these two types have to match when you do, when you do that inside the form you can access your formal parameter as usual using the hyphen or the dash and the name of the component Remember this is by reference so, so you will be affecting the original content or the original working area flight info. When you pass an internal table the same way using the changing addition you specify the name of the formal parameter internal table in this case f underscore i tab or formal underscore internal table type and this has to be a table type the same table type as your actual parameter and when you define your table type you can access your formal parameter as usual we're going to talk about table types later on after this course for right now, just keep in mind that for passing an internal table, you have to use a table type. Let's practice in the system passing the structures and passing internal tables in a program. So let's navigate to the object navigator and let's modify a program that we built previously. Let's navigate to the ABAP course and let's take a look at the flight schedule for American Airlines program remember this program we had a select for two tables one view and one transparent table and then we had the print the flights in a loop so what we're going to do here is that we're going to move all this loop for printing into a subroutine and we're going to pass as a parameter the flight internal table and the internal table for the names the local table so let's start by clicking on display change and now we're going to write the name of our uh, of our form so perform print flight changing so we can pass the table and we pass our flight table and our alt lt names table and now we double click on our perform to create it it doesn't exist the subroutine do I want to create it yes and this time we're, we don't want to create the subroutine in the main program we want to create in a new include so let's select the proposed name 
and let's create our subroutine in our new include. A warning is displayed that in program C flight and include C flight schedule statement will be inserted. So the new include will be inserted in our program. So let's click yes. Yes. And we save our new include in our transport request and the new include is created. So now we need to create well first we need to declare the type of these two tables. Remember we always need to specify the table type. So for the LT flight we need a table type so we're going to call it C table type underscore flight and for the names we need a table type of the names uh, for now let's just work with the table type for the flight and then we're going to come back for the names so if we double click this the system asks us if we want to create a global type but we don't want to create a global type. We want to create a table type in the ABAP dictionary. So we go ahead and click no. We copy this name. And we open another window or create a new session. We navigate to the object, I'm sorry, to the ABAP dictionary. And we paste our new type in the data type and we click on create we select table type and we write a short description table type for flights we need a line type so we need to go back to our program so let's navigate back to our program to remember the type that we needed so we're looking the type for the flight table so let's go back yes I want to save and I double click the LT flight that takes me back to its data type declaration and the type is this one so I copy this type and I go back to my table type and I paste that type so I'm creating a table type for this type this is a structure type in this case this is a view database view I can double click and navigate to it I'm not going to do it right now, but in here you can specify a structure, a database view, a transparent table. So we're going to create a table type for this structure, view structure. So we go ahead and activate. And now our table type is active. So we copy the name. We go ahead and we can now cl close here. And let's navigate to our include remember if we go to the bottom of our program we can find our include so we double click and that takes us to our subroutine so now our type our table type is this one if we double click the object navigator takes us back to the table type let's go back to the program now we need a table type for the names the names let's go back and take a look at the names type the name's original type was SCAR table. So we need a table type for the SCAR database table. We have two options. We can create one or we can try to look for one in the ABAP dictionary. Let's look for one. So let's create another time a new session. Navigate to the ABAP dictionary and under data type let's write asterisk scar asterisk this asterisk means search a string with the scar substring in any part of the string and I click on the search button and I search for table types and I have one table type for the scar table so I go ahead and click I display and yes this is what I want so I copy this I close 
and back in my program I navigate to my include and I define my type my table type scar and I save my program now remember this form or subroutine is going to print so let's bring that code back here so yes I save I go back and I'm going to cut the loop where you print so I cut this loop and now our program looks better and more clear it is easier to navigate in our program now because we separated the printing in a subroutine with the parameters internal table slide and names passing by reference so let's go back to the include and let's paste our code let's go ahead and hit on the pretty printer and now it looks better so now we are working with our tables at PLT flight remember that our formal parameters we need another name and we are looping at our formal parameters so I'm going to rename this and because this is in another segment block I'm sorry in another segment of code we need to declare this dot working area because it doesn't exist so we need to declare it locally as a local object so we declare a structured variable like line of my formal parameter this saves me trouble from remembering what type I need to declare it and I'm going to also declare the one names like line of my other internal table so now I loop into my formal parameter internal table into my local working area and I read my, t my table for the parameter names with my local working area and, uh, and then it prints everything to the screen so let's save let's check the syntax and let's activate both our program and our include we select both and we go ahead and activate now let's go back to our program and as you can see our program looks more clear and better let's run it to test if everything is okay remember we can enter an airline and a flight number remember flight 17 and then we can execute and the program continues to run as it was running before but now it's more clear because it uses a subroutine to separate the code